Day 281 of the Ukraine War. So the battles of Bakhmut uh, in the east continues. Russia continues to throw wave after wave of human sacrifices at the battle, and Ukraine continues to defend. It really makes no sense on why Russia is fighting so hard a piece, on this piece of ground, but as Sun Tzu said, don't interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake, so the fight continues. The fighting is also going on in Kherson as artillery battles across the Dnieper. Interesting update from yesterday is that the Russian Defense Minister Shugoy put out an announcement that more than 300,000 Russians recently called up for their partial mobilization were trained for two months. They were trained by 3,000 instructors, so that's a 1 to 100 instructor to student ratio. Not ideal. But also, what does two months of training get you? Well, it gets you privates. That's what it gets you. A whole lot of privates. Plus, we already know that many of those 300,000 were sent straight to the front line after five days, three days of training, firing three rounds of ammunition to try to help save the Russian lines. So the, we already know that Russians lie, but there's a little bit of that. But let's say you have 300,000 privates. Well, don't forget that you need people to lead those privates. And the Russians, starting back in se- t- September, were yanking cadets out of officer training and throwing them on the front line under a year of training. So the Russian officers and NCOs are all going to be new, leading a bunch of privates in many formations. Not all, of course, but that's definitely a clear sign of Russia's manpower crisis. We also saw yesterday that the U.S. announced that they may be um, starting to train Ukrainian forces at a higher pace. Um, Don't forget we have 100,000 U.S. soldiers positioned in Europe uh, and possibility of training 2,500 Ukrainians a month. Part of that, we've already seen 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers trained in the UK. So that instructor to student ratio, of course, the Ukrainian soldiers are going to be much better trained and led than the Russian forces going forward.